oh, Grandma Yellen is in town, or Auntie Yellen. And that's the image that she has. Soft, gentle, a really nice old lady, not flashily dressed, and uh, carries a little backpack, a little bag, or carry herself, and uh, lands in China and wants to have Sichuan food. Boy, she can take spicy stuff, uh, not bad. Anyway, even over so social media in China, there's been quite a bit of talk about how she uses chopsticks so well. So she has a really good image as being a gentle, kind old lady. But also, before she came to China, she talked about, and even after she came, she started talking about U.S. does not seek disengagement with China. U.S. does not seek to break up the relationship economically because it will be disastrous for the rest of the world. Now, all of these sound really nice, but also the big attack, vicious, aggressive attack, even though softly spoken, has been on China's overcapacity in three things, electric vehicles, lithium-ion batteries, and the solar. By the way, all of these are related to new and renewable sources of energy, it seems. Now, no question, U.S. is not allowing Chinese vehicles, electric vehicles, to be sold in the U.S. On 100% duty, you really can't sell very much. Also, blockage of uh, solar panels by imposing heavy duties as well. But of course, the complaint was that China subsidizes its solar manufacturers, its solar industry. But just before she came to China, I think Suniva was reopened. He went bankrupt in 2017 because he could not compete with Chinese products. Now, big story was made of how she went and reopened the factory with heavy government subsidies. On the one hand, you complain about Chinese government subsidies. On the other hand, you also provide heavy subsidies to your own companies by the government. And the most absurd one, of course, is this Anti-Inflation Act. It doesn't do anything about anti-inflation. It's basically to block Chinese products from the U.S. market by creating protectionist measures of various types through subsidies to U.S. produced products. So who is more open? China's more open. Is there overcapacity? No, there isn't an overcapacity because you plan on a global basis. There is very substantial demand that should be met by the better product, by the product that will make consumers happier, spend less, get better product, and so on. So all of this stuff about overcapacity is really, really an attempt to suppress China's rise in these three sectors in which China has already become dominant force. But don't forget, this is for green. This is for protection against climate change. This is all good for the earth. So you pick the three sectors, actually, which are all good for the earth, and you are retarding the progress of technology development that will allow us to participate, allow consumers to participate in addressing climate change. It's really sad. This is what the U.S. has become hypocritical, totally against its own principles, against the principles that it vows for decades. So Yellen appears to be a really nice old lady, cannot take a hard line, but she says a whole bunch of nice things about not disengaging with China and must collaborate, must cooperate and compete on fair basis, on fair ground, and so on and so forth. But if we look at politically what has been happening in the last couple of weeks and going into the next couple of weeks, the U.S. is making every attempt to stir up things again in South China Sea, in Asia in general, by having these military exercises, AUKUS and also Japan, and also now the Philippines, building more bases around China by building new bases in the Philippines. 400 military installations surrounding China. And that's not enough. If you're really serious about cooperating and collaborating, 
well, maybe you should take some of these military bases away. If you really worry about continuation of inflation, well, maybe you should reduce your military budget. The U.S. military budget is the equivalent of the next nine military budgets combined. So maybe you shouldn't just talk the talk. You should also walk the walk.